Hi there, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. So if you like this topic, please subscribe, hit the notification bell or the like button because I do new videos every week and I'd love to see you here. And this week's topic is a really important one that I haven't covered before and I'm surprised I haven't yet, but it's about working with a pendulum. So here's my trusty pendulum right here. And basically a pendulum is a tool that can detect energy and give you yes or no answers about things. And there are many different types of pendulums. Some are very, very simple, some more ornate. And really when you're looking to select one, if you just pick one that you love, that you naturally gravitate towards, that will be the best one for you because it works with your energy. So if you're drawn to it, it's the pendulum for you. Now, if you're interested in learning about all the psychic stuff, I have a whole world of resources at Krishanti.com, some free meditations. And one of the Hallmark courses that I have that a lot of people like to take is called Activate Your Psychic Superpowers. Now that is based on my friend Deborah Katz's book, You Are Psychic, The Art of Clairvoyant Reading and Healing. And we basically condense that into a go at your own pace program where you get a lesson every week with the meditations pre-recorded so you can just listen to them as opposed to reading the book and following them in your mind. So that is a great primer for activating your psychic abilities. But when you get into the psychic realm and you start to really get used to all of this, what you'll likely want to do is have a lot of different ways in which you can tune in. So for example, I use my clairvoyance and clairaudience. I also use oracle cards and tarot cards. I read the I Ching oracle and I have my pendulum. So let's talk about pendulums some more. Um, a lot of people in the healing arts rely on them. So energy healers often will, will use a pendulum to see how energy is flowing. I use mine to see if um, objects and items that I'm charging up with healing energy are in fact charged and you can just use them for answers on whether or not a certain supplement is good for you or if if this choice is beneficial or if that one would be beneficial so there are a lot of uses to a pendulum what you need to know first and foremost is everyone works with their pendulum a little bit differently and what I mean by that is the way that it swings will will tell you if it's a yes or a no and for different people the pendulum swings in different ways so mine um i start out by just swinging it like this way so it just gets a swing in there and it's already moving and then i'll say like show me no and it'll swing now i'm doing it myself so you can see it but it'll swing counterclockwise it just starts to move like that for a no and then i'll reset it by swinging it again just in a, in a neutral position. And then I'll say, show me yes. And then it always swings clockwise for yes. So clockwise, yes, counterclockwise, no. Other people have told me that their pendulum swings like left and right for yes, or for yes or for no, or whatever it is. Let's say yes, left, right, and no back and forth. So different pendulum strings swing different ways according to how you interact with it and the pendulum itself. Another very interesting thing to keep in mind when using a pendulum is you ideally want to steady your hand because if, if your hand is moving or you think you know the answer, you, you can make your muscles move in the ever so slightest way to give you the answer that you'd like. So what I do is it's going to look weird, but I actually lately have been like holding it here. So my fingers are not moving and it just pinched right here. It's for it to swing. So I know that I'm not doing it, but those of us who are really strong minded and have a lot of power can make it move. I, I would say probably most of us can at, at most people who are doing this can make it move in the direction we want it to move in with just with the power of our mind that's that's psychometry that's making objects move I have a whole video here on YouTube about about psychometry so to that end to get around that 
the best way to work with your pendulum when asking a question is to hold the question in your mind and then clear your mind, like picture a clear lake and then just ask it to show you, like hold the question and then the clear lake means you are not expecting it to be yes or no, you haven't already predetermined the answer. You're giving it over to the pendulum to tell you. Um, that helps a great deal because again, if you're, you're pretty sure it's a yes or a no, you're, the power of your mind can make it swing one way or another. And what you're using it for is to be a, a, a tool that's objective um, and not invested in the outcome is what I'm trying to say really. So um, try that, it really does help. And I think that about sums it up, but before I go, Again, check out Activate Your Psychic Superpowers because that is a really fun course and those meditations got me started on this psychic pathway. They really do help open up your clairvoyance. And if you work with a pendulum or you have experiences with how you use it or what, you, what it's done for you, how it's helped you, we would all like to hear about it. So if you're open to it, put it in the comments below so we can start a conversation and, and see how other people are working with pendulums these days. And that officially sums it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.